let's pretend there is an alternative scenario that has to do with SpongeBob. The pilot episode was created in 1997, but put it this way, instead of the original one, there is a band pilot created on September 3, 1995 that was taken off the air due to being unsuitable for children a month later. But it unfortunately aired once. I was one of the victims to this damn thing they call a pilot episode. I was watching TV one day and saw an announcement that a new show SpongeBob SquarePants would be on today. I was interested and excited. At the last second, I brought popcorn and orange juice to my room and began watching. The title card said the big day. Everything was normal at first, but trust me, everything went to hell within a few moments. It shows SpongeBob waking up and telling Gary, today is the big day, Gary. Gary simply meows. After that, it shows a montage of SpongeBob getting ready for the big day. Then SpongeBob charges out of his house chanting I'm ready numerous times. As he passes Patrick's rock, the rock opens showing Patrick sticking to the bottom of the rock like in the original. He yells out to Spongebob, Go, Spongebob. After this, he falls off and hits the floor. But this time, not only could you hear crashing, you could hear Patrick's bones breaking, as he screams in pain and agony. It cuts to Squidward cleaning the crusty crab doors. He hears Spongebob and begins to panic uncontrollably. Believing Spongebob wants to work at the Krusty Krab, he pulls out a gun and shoots Spongebob in the head, as he arrives. Mr. Krabs walks out the Krusty Krab to find Spongebob laying on the ground, dead. He screams at Squidward for killing Spongebob, and does the unthinkable, he cuts Squidward's head off with his claw. Mr. Krabs begins breaking down and crying. It fades to an image of Spongebob ascending to heaven as an angel. It then fades another image of Squidward falling into the depths of hell. The screen fades to black, as the credits rolled. Now I know, why it was banned.